Hey guys, me host Supersaurl, thank you very much for tuning in, look what I got! It's the leader of the Hellfire Club himself, it's Eddie Munson. This is Eddie Munson from Stranger Things Series 4, and this figure is by Bandai. This, ha this series of action figure was named The Void, and The Void Stranger Things action figures didn't come out of America very easily. I had to get this from Amazon.com. Eddie isn't coming to the UK, which is a pain. Um, the, the rest of the Void figures are readily kind of available now on uh, Amazon UK. But for some reason, Eddie Munson is not listed as one of the figures in the series. But you can get Vecna and some of the other ones, which I'm tempted to pick up. Uh, uh, but the Eddie Munson character was the one that I identified most with when the show came on. I am the Dungeons and Dragons nerd from high school. I am that kid that was misunderstood and listened to heavy metal music. That was me back in the day, minus the long hair. And uh, Eddie, M Eddie Munson kind of was me. So I, I really was drawn to that character. I know it's cliche because a lot of people felt the same way. And a lot of people do say this now. But um, yeah, so many so many people came out of the woodwork when this TV show started and like said they would they would have been friends with Eddie Munson. It's like, well, no, you wouldn't have done because that was me and you weren't friends with me. <laughs> but anyway, high school angst aside, it's time to look at the void at action figure of Eddie Munson. It is real nice. The face sculpt, first of all is beautiful. I think this figure is on par with any SH figure arts that have been released. I'm not going to lie, the figure, the, the articulation and stuff is second to none, which I'll show you in a moment. The figure has been beautifully crafted with that Hellfire Club logo on the back of his jacket there. It just, it's just a great representation of the figure. My only gripe is that this action figure didn't come with any extra hands or anything. I think it could have really, have really warranted from some um, hands that we can do something with, uh, some grab hands, as his open palm hands are cool, but um, you can't really do much with them. And when he's an action figure and you want to do things, I kind of want to be able to play with him a little bit more than this. However, he does look absolutely badass. Articulation wise, you can make his head, you can make him look down and up as much as the hairpiece at the back here will allow, as well as make him look left and right. His arms do lift up that side hinge and do also rotate. There is a ball hinge there in the elbow. Be careful with these because these do pop out. I have, had, I have had this elbow joint pop out twice on me already, and the hands do move backwards and forwards a little bit and rotate. He does have an abdomen crunch there, as you can see, you can crunch him around quite a lot, which is nice, plenty of rotation, and then a further waist swivel there as well. Anyone's legs do lift out um, on a ball peg here, as well as forwards and backwards. You can also bend him at the knee quite right, quite far, and he does have, oop, and it will the legs will click forward once you've done that, uh, so you can really use that ball peg. But as I always say, be careful with these, because like I say, the ball pegs and stuff are a bit temperamental, and I have had legs and things pop off. <laughs> um, the feet as well are articulated, which is nice, and they have the toe hinge as well, should you wish to use it. Uh, the toe hinge I always find is a great a great piece of a great uh, articulation point on figures these days, because I can use it to kind of steady the figure. Once you get him into a pose you like, if he's leaning back or whatever, you just push that toe hinge down into the ground and it helps to steady them out. One thing as well that I think this figure definitely needed to come with was his trusty guitar. I think the guitar is a major oversight for this action figure. However, luckily, I do have a bunch of accessory guitars that I can throw in with him. Now, I know this isn't the one that looks like his on the TV series and his was more of an act shape. However... Beggars can't be choosers. And we just wrap that around Eddie. So he can rock out and play master and play uh, puppet master. With a little bit of messing around and playing, you can kind of get him to hold it in a reasonable position. Uh, I've had him on my shelf for a while. And uh, I've, you know, he's he's boy, he's been up there with the guitar, and he looks awesome. Might even lean it the other way, actually. And as well, what, what as well you could do, <clears throat> strap it to his back as well, which would be cool. 
like I say, this is where I would have liked to have had more usage of his hands to be able to um, have other weapons and things in his hand, like an axe or something, uh, to have him going up against the Demogorgon or even Vecna himself. I do hope we we do see Eddie again in future seasons of Stranger Things. I hope he comes back as a Dungeons and Dragons character of some description, because that would be cool. But guys, what are your thoughts? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this figure review, then why not smash that subscribe button? Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and helps us to keep making awesome videos like this. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, may the force be with you.